One of the things we've always wanted to do in Taupo, but we have never had the chance because the lake level has been too low or rain, got rained off as well, yes. was visiting the Māori rock carvings and going out to Mine Bay. So today we're going out with Taupo Sailing Adventures and we are going to have about two hours on the water and we actually get to get up close to the Mine Bay carvings. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's something we've always wanted to do. So you might recall the last time we were here, we went out on those. <laughs> That's right, that was so fun. Are you in? Almost. <laughs> Let's do a donut first. <laughs> Those are the dough boats. Turned off the heater. Yeah, I turned off the heater by mistake. <laughs> they do not travel very far. That's kind of just you know just novelty cruising around, but yeah. we're actually properly getting out there and get to explore. Which I'm yeah, I can't wait. Let's do it. Mm. Some real, real local stuff going on here. This is someone's driveway. <laughs> Called is it kind, kindred spirit? Hi, I'm David. Nice to meet you. Love it. Have you seen how clear the water is? Oh yeah. You can literally see the bottom. I imagine that's relatively deep as well to allow the boats to be in yeah, here too. Good point. Ooh, this is gonna be such a nice day for this. This I love this. This is like proper real sailing. Yeah. Get ready to pull up some sails, babe. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at the like you know, short, sharp strength stuff, no, not the not the endurance. Yeah, you can do it. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> We're not even out of the marina yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, you already nestled in. Well, I chose the best seat in the house. <laughs> Oh, good. So we're just chatting to David about the fact that these guys are BYO. Which I love wow. it when you can take take booze to something like this. You can sit back. Of course, though, if you, apparently if you don't buy booze, he's actually got a full kitchen down there. There's a toilet downstairs. What is that? Storage. I don't. All I remember is he called it the cheapest bar in town, and I thought that was awesome. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> awesome. That's good to know. So we're just cruising. I feel peaceful already, and we don't even have the sails up. Yeah, it's 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 this good. Good wind out there apparently. Oh look, you can see snow out on the mountains. First time we've seen some clarity. I don't know where I'm waving, but I'm waving. <laughs> Is that we are uh, we're not sailing we're using the motor at the moment to get straight out to Acacia Bay and to the rock carvings because the wind's not blowing in quite the right direction yet but then we're gonna sail home that's nice we had a good combo we're actually gonna go via Acacia Bay which if you'd seen the other videos is where we did that walk out to Whakamoranga Point which is as close as you can get without going on private land which you shouldn't really do <laughs> To the to the carvings, but you can't reach the carvings without a boat you or can't see them kayak or whatever. Be on top of them if yeah. you're on, on foot. And if you don't know what we're talking about with like the carvings, just kind of what we just what we've been calling it, <laughs> there's a really cool story behind it that we'll share soon when we see it. What are you doing there? Look, some, sometimes you just get more. Okay, sorry. Uh, fair enough. Just trying to be real casual, but. <laughs> So David's up the front, he's uh, he's checking up the main sail. Stacey, so do you want me to help with anything? And yeah, you can steer the boat if you want. <laughs> yes, please, sir. I'm in checking in for duty. <laughs> Captain Dane. This is good. This is the thing that we really love about these these private down-to-earth, you know, like David, uh, owner operator. It's it's casual, it's friendly, it's it's like close quarters, you kind of learn as you're going along. These things are fun. I love these adventures and like meeting down-to-earth Kiwis, running businesses. This reminds me about how, how cool travel is. one dollar each. That's where we were then, babe. Yeah, much nicer day today, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the summer of this area will be full of people swimming, fishing. So how much further around is it really from the rocks yeah, is it just literally right around there oh, five minutes oh wow yeah. okay yeah, so we're, 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 we're only, right there <laughs> we're only about one one k away love it we're actually sitting in 30 meters of water through here 30 meters. see there's a couple more smaller ones on the rock rocks there right so the lizard or the yeah. sorry the crocodile like creature yeah um is the guardian 
Oh, uh, okay. Wow. That is beautiful. Even the teeth and everything. The detail and the quality and how impressive that is. So am I. I'm almost speechless. Like, I know I have to tell you about this, but I'm almost just like, I don't know what to say. It is so stunning. Yeah. But what we do and know... And so symmetrical as well, sorry. It's, it's like beautifully done. I know. Considering that it's carved by hand yeah. in like the hardest conditions, people had to rappel down or go on scaffolding. I couldn't even draw that on a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> so this is by an artist called Matahi Brightwell. He and a couple other master carvers carved this by hand and the image of the face is of Ngāturoirangi who was a Māori navigator who brought a couple of tribes to Tōpō over a thousand years ago. So it was done in the 70s and it took over four summers for them to complete which to be fair like that's that's pretty good going isn't it? Yeah I, I think so like you said because of conditions. One thing that uh, Dave pointed out he said if you keep looking for long enough every time you pass you can see we're coming in and out there's another boat coming as well, so we've kind of you know, got to cheer around. The more that you look at it, the more you start to notice more how much more carvings well. there yeah. are. So in instinctively you start to see the carvings on the light because I think you get the contrast with the shadows, but on those darker rocks down the bottom, there's just so much more. So many, and so many stories as well. Yeah, well that is the thing as well about the Māori heritage and the Māori carvings, or is that that all tells a story of their family and, and kind of yeah, what they've been through. has a story. Yeah. And it's also kind of awesome that it wasn't done for tourism purposes. Yeah, it's turned into an iconic tourism attraction, but the whole reason Matahi did it was to bring traditional Māori art to the world so they could sit, and like, what a way to do it. But also, how about these conditions? We've been so worried about the rain, and of course, we get the good day on the day that we need it. Thank you. <laughs> but looking out the back over there, there, there might be a, a little bit of bad weather coming in. We're not 100% sure. Yes, it's it looks, yeah, it does look mostly isolated. So it is chill at the moment. There's only two boats and two ducks here at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently in the summer, this is understandably a super popular spot. There'd be about 50 boats out here and everybody's just swimming. Oh, this is the beach. Did you open yours here? Yep. Lakeman. What is this one? This is the pale ale. Have you had that one before? Cheers, beautiful. Oh, I'm off. I'm off. See ya. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Come back with me, <laughs> So I'll just wait for the cruise captain. Yeah, no worries, awesome. thank you. Oh yeah. Hey. This is living. I was just gonna say man. <laughs> this is living, Barry. <laughs> this is living. This is a real pinch yourself kind of moment. I have to say, I'm very pleased that we're on a private charter out here by ourselves. Just chatting with the skipper, owner, <laughs> picking our own schedule. We're just gonna cruise back up now and get another look. See if we can find any more this time. I'm busy. This is the life. It is the life, I eh? forgot how much I love being on a sailing boat. Hey, thank you. Thanks, Thanks so, so much, much. mate. So that was Such awesome. Thank, thank you. Really Please appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your stay in town. Thank yeah, we'll you. No problem. I said that we'll be back. Guess what? <laughs> we're back at Sugar Mama's world famous dessert bar. So, we don't go to the cafe this time. We're going in here. <laughs> Look, it looks like we're getting gelato. <laughs> everyone's eating ice cream already. Yeah. So, the temptations are strong. Look at this. Nerds, spaceman, cell patch kids, so many throwback candies and stuff there. Then there's a few more options up the top here. The largest, most luxurious looking ice cream. I'm seeing caramel written everywhere. There's all sorts of brownie and slices there. Ben and Jerry's as well as a few other ice cream options and a whole other menu with all sorts going on. So based on all of that, what do you think we got? <laughs> I'll be back in one Thank second. Thank you so Dave. much. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> this is the freak fries. So it's fries dusted with cinnamon and sugar, and it's got vanilla ice cream on top and 
a drizzle of caramel sauce. And the whole idea behind it is, you know when you go to Macca's and you're a kid and you get the soft serve and you and get you're the a fries? Kid. Whoa, whoa. No, no. Okay. <laughs> and you're 30. <laughs> and you dunk your fries into the ice cream. That was the whole idea behind this. Oh, so I don't know, man. I love caramel sauce. I love chips. But how does it actually go together? I bet it's going to be so good. I have, I'm not going Dane's ice cream not, yet. Dane's not the... What? You have to. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Dane said to me, I'm more of a savoury with savoury kind of guy. But I was always the person that dunked the fries in the soft serve. It's just so many different flavours like dancing in your mouth that you don't expect to be together. But you know what? Yeah, that's 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 kind of nice actually. Kind of nice. It's just so different. Oh, I love it. It's odd. You still get the real French five fries flavour because they're quite thick chips. Mm. So it is like a lot of potato going on, but mm. that okay. is that's okay. really good. That was just the entree. That wasn't dessert. You didn't think that was dessert, did you? No, there's more, <laughs> more, more. This is donuts filled with caramel sauce with caramel ice cream on the side and a drizzle of chocolate sauce on top as well. But isn't it dolce de leche inside? Yes. Is it this, this is just this one? Inside. Oh, okay. Ooh, it's getting cold. Cheers. Yeah. yeah. What, it's does like the, the, what does the donut connoisseur say? It's like the donuts that you get at um, at a fair or something. You know, the but really... richer though. Yeah, like cinnamony, cinnamon mm. sugary, but it's almost like a, like a moist... Like they're not dry at all. Yeah, that I know what you mean. Yeah, Probably yeah. because they're doused in mm. all of the good things. <laughs> Thank you. So much for not trying the ice cream on the way out. <laughs> the thing got open tonight. What, what am I going to do? What's a girl to do? <laughs> mm. Cookies and cream. Really good. You can't really see from here, but back there. Oh, of course, you can't see from here. All our bags are in the boot. Why are our bags on the boat? I actually had to think about it. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> oh my love! <laughs> We're moving accommodation! We checked out this morning! We checked out this morning and we are off to a place in Kinloch called Totra Perch. It is a canopy camping escape. So basically that means that it's a unique place to stay. It's kind of like a glamping spot with separate... I'll take you on a tour when we're there. But it's got a separate bedroom, separate kitchen and living and an outdoor covered bathroom. That's a real... Real local stuff going on here. This is someone's driveway. <laughs> it's 1.5 k's long. And we've got some specific instructions to make sure we get to the big red shed. The warehouse is out here apparently. And uh, we should know what to do from there. Okay, so I see the neighbors. So that must be the neighbor's house. But so yeah, we're, going we're just, we're keeping, got notes here. Oh yep, yeah, look, I can straight. see the canopy camping sign. Look how beautiful that tree oh, tunnel look, bunny, is. Oh, bunny, bunny, you see it? He's just there. Hi, buddy. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> oh, he looks so small. This is the cool thing about booking something random like this is that you end up with such a such an experience at the same time, rather than <laughs> just rocking up to a hotel, which is fine. That has its place, but yeah. this this feels great. So we actually just pulled in. So we're close to Kinlock. We just went to the uh, the general store there. Strangest weather. The old sunny rain. Oh look, you got one right on the lens as well. To pick up some chips and some uh, some rosé. If you know where this rosé is from, or why it's kind of special to us. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's a good one. That's a good one. There's a wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> we got a wheelbarrow and a parking sign, and then apparently we have to put our stuff in the wheelbarrow. We got too much stuff. And just go from here. We're not going to take everything. We got, we've got too much stuff for this uh, for this adventure. We've opted against the wheelbarrow experience. There's a little bit of water in there. So we're going for the, the, the camping. Yeah, the camping style. We just grabbed some bits that we needed. Got Only one pack. night. Oh, our day packs. <laughs> I can see it already. Oh, okay, yeah. so we're not going far. No, we're not going far. So there's amazing views here. We don't have great zoom with this with this lens, but we've got the, the, lake. the lake over there. We can see snow-capped mountains. And then out there is the cabin. Oh yeah, I'm all about that. Look at the hot tub. Oh, that's beautiful. Hey, oh, this is going to be so nice when it rains, actually. Oh, it's like a like an awning, plasticky, canvasy thing. That's yeah. clever. Whoa! Wow! 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 Okay, so that's one side. So 
actually go in the, the bedroom side? Yeah. I feel like I haven't properly explored. But oh, go on, go on. Okay. Oh, it smells, it smells like fire. Mm. Oh, it smells nice in here. So this is the kitchen side. This is where we keep toasty warm. You gonna light me a fire? Oh yeah. Smells of like massage oils. Oh, what? In case you're naughty. <laughs> hey, that's oh, this would be cute. so cute for a family. Yeah. It's actually really warm in here. It is. How is it so warm? I'm not sure. We were a little bit worried about heat because um, there's there's no real power, is there? There's the... solar panels. I saw that. Oh, okay. So there's solar panels for some some important things. we got hotties. Maybe hotties. that's what it is. Uh, there's apparently a USB somewhere to plug in like a phone. So... It's, it is really off they the... They must do, look. Oh, so okay. Like... Yeah. Well, they don't have access to plug in laptops and all that kind of stuff, but you're off the grid with just the bare essentials that you need. Sweet view, though. Stunning view. <gasps> We've just seen that the bathroom is, like, fully outside. <laughs> oh, is it just going through the side? Oh, okay, so there's the bathroom there. <laughs> Gotta get a cold bum when you go to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is, this is the shower. All the way through here. Where's the, oh, there's a shower head up there. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. 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 Hope you've enjoyed this little trip away with us. <laughs>